rectangular coordinate system so we have the horizontal line this is from left to right this is x-axis and if we draw another line in any graph paper or any how perpendicularly vertically and up and down this is y-axis and x and y-axis intersecting some point this is origin now one to the right here we call this as a rectangular coordinate system coordinate one or quadrant one and then counterclockwise this one down here it will become quadrant two this one quadrant two and this down here is going to be quadrant three just this one down here and this one obviously is going to be quadrant four now we do have four quadrants so what are the sign actually so x to the right is always positive and x to the left is always negative and if we move y up and down so up is always positive and down is or below is negative now this intersecting a point which we call it origin and origin always is 0 comma 0 in other words our x is 0 so as y is 0 so that's the center this is origin usually we go with the ordered pair x comma y x is positive so x comes first so that is going to be positive and then right y y is also going up that is going to be also positive here so no matter what we have all positive x to the right y to the up is positive so any point fall into this coordinate is going to be positive right on this third quadrant all is going to be negative it's just opposite basically so we can actually write it well how do we know that so x to the left is negative x to the down is negative so any point if we try to find a point here that is going to be also x comma y that is going to be negative comma negative in other words the sign is going to be negative of course we can easily find out what is that point on there we're going to find that later on now moving to second quadrant this is x first so always we should go x first x comma y this is always letter x always comes first so x to the left is negative so we have to down negative sign here comma y goes up is positive so this is the sign is supposed to be on the second quadrant so x to the right is always positive so you're going to have a positive here positive comma y is going to be in this case negative y is negative because y is coming down below is negative so these are the sign actually so first quadrant all are positive whatever point falls into here is going to be intersection so it's two x and y intersection is all positive second quadrant negative positive negative negative all negative because x to the left going negative y coming down is also also fourth quadrant down here x comes first remember we always go x first and y next so these are the sign let's actually go over some terminology then we're going to plot some point in the cartesian coordinate system i have a different graph here as you see this is leveled as like one two it still is each grid is one i can represent it as a two four six also so as you see now we're going to have some terminology again recall what we have done or what we know so far so if you look into this down here right x-axis y-axis quadrant and ordered pair origin and so on so x-axis so x is basically going to the left and right horizontal line going to the right and left i can actually level it so this is x so this is x-axis this is y-axis and this is y going down this is x going left okay so x-axis is a horizontal line going left and right now y-axis is going to be down coming down which is a vertical line vertical line up and down vertical line and then these two when these two intersect we call it origin and that is always zero zero it's so always zero zero now when we have intersection and this make us make it four faces first face is quadrant one and we have noticed that already and quadrant two quadrant three quadrant four with a counterclockwise then of course the ordered fair even in the center the one we have this is ordered fair but every point in the coordinate system is also called ordered fair so what is that ordered fair ordered fair is the location so location of a point in a rectangular coordinate system in any point it can be it can be in the line it can be any of the coordinate now very important we understand the sign what is the sign sign positive right or up in other words the right and up if it is positive x is positive then right y is positive goes up negative left and down means x is to the left y is to the down x is to the up y is to the up so that's how actually we use this terminology into this rectangular coordinate system and it's very crucial for us to understand this in order to float points so next we're going to find a float the point in this system so let's float this point into the rectangular coordinate system here so this is the four points bunch of points here and as you see these points are so okay but this one we have to adjust so we're going to learn how to adjust the rectangular 
rectangular coordinate system in order to float this so l5 comma h so x is always beginning that's also the reference here x is always a coordinate first first or alphabetical letter a b c song we learned first so that is x comes first so x is 5 so this is going to be 5 here and we go up 8 y to the 8 because both of them are positive so we can just look into here x is 5 and just go up how far we go up 8 so that is it so this is this is the point what is we can say a 5 comma 8 that is the point up here and the next one we go 6 negative 2 so 6 to the right and y to the down so 6 to the right and y to down so this is the point is supposed to be here so 6 is to the right and y is down this is the point here and of course this is 6 comma negative 2 next one negative 8 comma 6 so all of them are negative sign so it should fall into the third quadrant all should be negative we learned earlier so is negative 8 we go to the left negative 8 and go down 6 how far go down 6 down here so negative 8 negative 6 and that is our point which is c negative 8 comma negative 6 all negative then we go to d negative 7 this is negative so that's negative 7 right here and go up 9 to the up so 9 to up just like that down here so 9 up so negative 7 you go all the way to the left then go all the way to the up and up to this point 9 remember this is every point of the rectangular coordinate system is the intersection of x and y so this is a negative 7 comma 9 so that is our d d is negative 7 comma 9 then we have 4 comma 0 so this one is a little bit different looking seems like we don't have any y is not going up and down x is 4 4 to the right so no problem this is 4 to the right so that's 4 to the right so this is 4 to the right and it's already sitting down there but y is not going up and down it's not going to the up or to down because this is origin so this is right there sitting down here so that should be our e how do we write it e e should be in this case 4 comma 0 is in the line in the x axis by the way i can label it x y and then of course we look into that next one 0 comma negative 6 so seems like x is 0 so x is in the center and y going down 6 so that should be negative 6 so so that's a negative 6 which one so this one down here negative 6 so f 0 comma negative 6 so we have plot a to f and that is how we plot point in the rectangular coordinate system if we have x is 0 that means is y intercept if y is 0 that means is x intercept so it should be in the x axis this one should be y axis it depends on the sign if it was positive it should be somewhere up on top because it's negative is going down so that's in the line it's not going up and down okay now the next one is a little bit different so what i'm going to do i'm going to erase everything the next one down here this is the one we are trying to plot the problem is our graph paper doesn't have that much length so we can adjust it in our need so since it's 80 60 i can actually put down this is a 20 40 60 so i can level it i can adjust it so that's 20 that's 20 40 60 80 100 beautiful i do the same thing also on the top all sides must be same 60 80 100 all right now we are ready to actually find 80 so 80 is a positive so it's going to the right this is 80 and 60 goes up so this point is here it's not that hard so 80 and 60 this point down here so this is letter z and we put down 80 comma 60 that is how we plot points in a rectangular coordinate system if the points are so big we adjust it in our convenience thank you